friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today, not only am I going to be talking about something I'm kind of excited about, but I'm trying something totally new and shooting my video, and that is doing it while my grandson is here. I've never done this before, and he's right here at my feet. So it might be a little noisy. We'll see what happens. Or he may just be interested in listening to Grandma talk about sealing jars. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, a lot of you know about our, about the Food Saver Tops, and I've talked about them a lot for sealing jars, and also the vacuum chamber that Patrick makes, and also the vacuum chamber that Patrick makes and sells on our store. Anyway, recently I was going to link someone to the, the Food Saver Tops when I saw, I've actually seen these before, an off-brand of jar sealer tops, and I considered trying them just because they were five dollars less expensive than the Food Saver brand, and but I just it's like I don't need them. I already have two sets of Food Savers. But then when I saw the most recent edition that you can get for twenty dollars, you can get the jar sealing tops, one of each size, plus this little hand pump, as well as the attachment that you can use with a Food Saver. I don't know if it would work with any other. A vacuum sealer but it does work with a food saver plus you get four two of each lids are <laughs> just cheap lids but you know whatever it, they'll work for vacuum sealing I probably wouldn't can with them and a jar opener so I thought that was a pretty good deal for five dollars less than what you can typically buy because the food saver tops for the kit is usually twenty to twenty five dollars sometimes you can find it for less they, the price goes up and down but for $20, you can get all of this, including this little manual pump. And this is what I was most curious about. I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. But you got to understand, it's most likely, it doesn't say on it, it's most likely made in China, and this is all plastic. So that would be my main concern about this, is how long this little pump's going to last. But what I did find is it does actually, it's a little bit easier to work than the brake bleeder pump that you'll see me most commonly use for sealing my jars. So the only reason I purchased this, and I, I didn't work out any kind of deal with the company or anything like that, I just went ahead and purchased it on Amazon just so I could try it out and then let you know what I think about it. And especially for those of you who are on a tight budget and you can't afford to do the brake bleeder pump and the food saver tops or the brake bleeder pump and the vacuum chamber, at least for $20 you can get something that will work. So I did play around with it last night and found it did work great. One of the things I was, okay, Jackson keeps kicking the, <laughs> kicking the tripod here. One of the things I did find I definitely like better about this off-brand right here is that it is made better than the food saver when it comes to the regular. So the regular mouth food saver jar sealer is not made the same way. They might look on the surface, they might look like they're made the same. They're not made the same as the wide mouth. The wide mouth one is great. This one here, the regular mouth, the, the way the... Uh, just this whole construction on the inside and the silicone gasket here they're constructed differently so that when you use this to seal your jar you might be able to seal your jar fine especially if you're using a brake bleeder pump but sometimes it doesn't seal the jar very well unless you add added pressure like a second lid inverted on top or use your brake bleeder pump instead but then when you go to take it off nine times out of ten the gasket comes out and you have to put it back in again and then you got to make sure you put it back in right or it won't work that with this is not an issue they're constructed the same as each other and you can see the silicone gasket actually extends down past where this kind of does that on the wide mouth but not on the regular mouth so that's the one of the big differences between the two of the food saver but these are constructed the same now these work great and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate but the one drawback I saw to these is the top. So your food saver has a little handle on top that makes it much easier for pulling off the jar where with these, especially when you're talking about the wide mouth and you have little small hands like I do, you actually have to grab it that way because you can't really grab this. There's nothing to grab onto. So you actually have to grab it this way. So if you have little hands like I do, it might be a little more difficult to get off. but 
I didn't have a problem getting it off. And Jackson's being really good, other than pumping into the tripod every so often. So let me set the food savers aside and I'll go ahead and demonstrate how this works. Now, I don't have a food saver machine anymore because I'm done with them. But with this, I know it would work. I know it would work just fine with these with your food saver because this attachment fits nice and snug in there and it is made to fit just like the food saver attachment it is made to fit in to the uh, accessory port so what i the main thing i was wanting to show is this little pump right here so it doesn't have a port that sticks out it actually because this is silicone it makes a tight seal when you just press it against the top or hold it you don't have to press it hard against the top right over the hole it makes a tight enough seal that it works great. And so, of course, because you're pumping air out, even though it's similar to a bicycle pump, a bicycle pump, you're going to feel the pressure as you pump down. But in this case, you're actually, since you're, it's a reverse action, you're pulling the air out, you're going to feel the pressure as you pull up. So you just simply start pumping, pulling that, that air out, and you'll feel it get tighter. And you might hear some tinking of that lid. That's normal and then just keep pulling on it until it gets so tight you can barely move it right there that should be nice and tight and they'll you'll have a little suction sound when you pull that off there and jackson wants up he wants me to pick him up but i'm not going to because we're not going to show i don't let him get on camera that's the one thing i might show a photo now and then but that's going to be the most so look at there a nice seal on this jar here same thing works just as well with the regular mouth with no issues like you have with this food saver brown. You hear that lid tinking each time? And eventually it will stop. That should have it sealed. And look at there. No problems with it vacuum sealing with this. It works great. It actually works better than the food saver brown. So then, while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and try, no, don't move that, okay, buddy? I decided to go ahead and try using that with my vacuum chamber to see if it'd work. Now, the, the only thing that about this is if you've got a vacuum chamber, what I recommend, if you get this, keep it just, either get two of them, or I don't know if you can buy it separately. If you can, I'll link to one. If you can find this sold by itself, I'll link to one of those down below as well as the full kit but if you've got a vacuum chamber what i'd recommend doing is putting this on her and leaving it on there because of the ridges on this port i would be concerned that if you keep putting it on taking it off it would tear up the silicone on this so i would get it to just leave it on the vacuum chamber itself and unfortunately it only fits on the what i call the 10 millimeter port it's not actually 10 millimeters i just refer to it as that because that's the outer dimension of the hose it's gonna to fit to. So this is actually a quarter inch port is what this is. The smaller one is an eighth inch. So, but this does fit on there. See, I can slide it on there. It's the pulling it off that you gotta be careful. You don't want to tear up that silicone. And I did try playing around with some different hoses for attachments to see if I could get it to work with the eight inch port or what I call the six millimeter, but I just couldn't figure out a way to make it work. I got a nearly full jar of comfrey from this year, and I'm gonna go ahead and seal it up even though I plan on adding more. So that's the great thing about vacuum sealing is you can open the lid and then you can reseal it. It's not like wasting oxygen absorbers. One of the reasons why I prefer this method over the O2 absorbers. So I'm very carefully gonna put my jar down in there, put my lid on, and if you want some more information on how to use the vacuum chamber, I'll link to the full length video that I have out as well as one that recently came out about just the lid itself about assembling it if you completely take it apart which is not necessary by the way as you can see and then you just same idea you just start pumping this way pulling out and you'll feel it start to get tighter and tighter at first it might not it might feel like it's not going to work but this is definitely less tiring on the arms and the wrist than using the brake bleeder pump so it might be easier for those who have arthritis. It might be, I can't make any promises, but it does seem like it's easier to use. 
And so you just keep doing this. You feel it get tighter and tighter and tighter. It will take longer because it's a lot more air. You're sucking the air out of the jar as well as out of the chamber at the same time. Okay, let's try that. I think that should be it. I heard that tink. Okay, so it might have worked. Yep, look at there, it's sealed. It is, so you might have to play with it a little bit to figure out how tight it gets on that. Cause I find I don't have to pump it as tight with this as I do with the jar to get a good seal. And then what I do whenever it's a dry good, I always put a band on tightly. Because sometimes no matter what method you use for vacuum sealing, anything can happen that can cause that lid to come unsealed during while it's in the pantry i usually leave it out for a couple days and then check it first before i put it away but if it comes unsealed in the pantry and you go to grab it and you don't have a band on there uh, and you don't know it's unsealed that lid can fly off and so can everything else <laughs> inside the jar so anyway as you can see that worked really great that little pump all right so i took that off of there it's not any worse for the wear, but I'm not going to be putting it back on there again, hopefully, because I won't be using that on there. Though I am considering getting another one of these if I can, just so I can have this attached to my chamber because it will take up less room. Because I have another brake bleeder pump that I keep attached to the chamber, but as you can see, because of all of this, it takes up a lot more room. And I don't like having to, having to pull it off just because it's more difficult to get the hose unhooked from the chamber. But with this, it would take up less room and I would just leave it attached. And then uh, that would work good. But I'm really liking this little pump. So the true test though is gonna be the test of time. Since this is all plastic parts on here, how long is it, and silicone, how long is this thing gonna last? I can't say yet, but I will give you some updates down the road, but if nothing else, this might be a far, for those of you who are on a real tight budget, this is probably going to be the, the cheapest way you can get started in vacuum sealing your dried goods. So remember, this is only for dried goods. This is not for things that are wet, unless you're just going to store it in your freezer or refrigerator. So, but for those things, if you're going to put them on a shelf, you got to can them, either water bath canning or your pressure canning. But for your dried goods, like your dried herbs, dried fruits, even chocolate, crackers, cereal, this is one way that you can preserve the stuff so it's going to have a much longer shelf life and not go stale. Most of your dried stuff is just, it's not going to go bad. Some stuff will just go stale. But things like your dehydrated meats, like the ground meats, the sausage, anything that has fat in it, and you're intentionally leaving the fat in it, vacuum sealing it, removing that oxygen from the jar, is going to prevent that fat from going rancid. So it is best to go ahead and vacuum seal and leave the fat in for flavor. Let me go ahead and try using that little pump on the Food Saver brand top. I'm sure it would work, but let's do the test just to make sure and see how it works. I don't know why it wouldn't. Feels like it's working, it's getting tighter. And I did hear that lid tink. And there we go. Oh, one more thing is this does not fit in here. It, it fits, but it doesn't work. I tried it out of curiosity. So that wasn't an option, but it is cool that it does come with that hose. I remember two years ago when people were trying to get these food saver tops or they could get the tops, but they couldn't find the adapter hoses to go with their food savers. They were having a really difficult time. So that's kind of cool they got that they have that with that and it works with the food saver. So anyway, that was it. I'm actually really happy with this little kit and it worked that little pump. I'm so impressed with that. I was like, surely that can't, thing can't work that great, but it actually works really good. So for the same price it costs just to get a brake bleeder pump, you can have these sealing tops, a, a jar opener, and that cute little pump that it comes with. So I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it just gave you another idea, especially for those on tight budget that are really wanting to start preserving their dried foods in a way that's gonna preserve their quality for a longer period of time on the shelf. And that's one great way that you can get started in that. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.